Hey, this is Rob with Gold Standard. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use Copilot Chat in Word. With Copilot Chat in Word, you now have your own digital assistant. It can create documents, extract key points, find and make formatting changes. It can summarize huge documents, but better yet, this is my favorite feature, it can give you suggestions on how to improve your writing or reply to questions about your document right in the chat box here. Let's get started. For this example, it's best to open an existing document. The longer, the better. So once you have that open, you'll find Copilot Chat is located in the top right of the ribbon here. Go ahead and click on that. All right, so this brings up Copilot Chat. You'll see that Copilot Chat just doesn't give you a blank dialog text box uh, to work with. It provides you with some example prompts on how you can effectively use Copilot Chat. So up here at the top, so we can ask it to create something, so write about. We can ask Copilot Chat to change. So if we want NFL to re be replaced with NHL throughout the entire document, we can do that here. We can also ask Copilot Chat to summarize the document, ask for key points. Maybe uh, you were trying to find a thesis of a document. You could also type that out here. Um, or you can ask a question about this document. So pretty much all of the rest of the above. So you can ask for things like, are there any people mentioned in this document? What other NFL teams are mentioned in this document? And Copilot's going to easily grab those and it's going to reference those in its response. So let's try an example. First, we'll try summarize this doc. So I'm just going to get rid of this first. Summarize this document. You might be wondering what's happening in the background. Copilot chat is using the text in your prompt and in the document and understanding the human meaning behind those words. So when we say summary, it's taking up all of those ideas and summing it up into one package that we can understand. Excellent. Looks like Copilot has begun to create our summary. So let's take a look at it in the chat box here. We can see we have four bullet points representing uh, the summary and the main ideas. After each bullet point, you're going to notice that there's some numbers at the end of each bullet point, and those are references where it pulled that information in the doc. You could click them, and it's going to highlight in the document exactly where it pulled that information. All right, let me show you another awesome example of how Copilot Chat can save you a ton of time. So I slept on it. You know, I don't actually want a football team in Sacramento. I actually want to come up with some ideas about putting an NHL team in Sacramento instead. So I'm going to ask Copilot to remove NFL anywhere in this doc and replace it with NHL. So let me go ahead and put my prompt in here. It's, it states, change NFL to NHL throughout the entire document. Notice that NFL and NHL are in quotes. This is actually a best practice when it comes to large language models. It helps the model zero in on the text that you want to modify. So I will suggest that moving forward if you're using text that you want to modify, put it in quotes. So let's see what Copilot does. And it did that in relatively no time. And you can see the chat box also says, you know, done. And it also has an undo. Um, if I did have a change of heart yet again and I wanted a football team in Sacramento instead. Pretty neat feature that can save you a ton of time. All right, we're on to our last example and I've saved the best for last. This one's gonna blow your mind. So we've asked Copilot chat to summarize our document. We've asked it to modify our document in certain ways. Let me show you how you could keep the conversation going and it could be your research assistant and kind of give you some checks and balances as you go. It might help, help you make your document that much stronger as well. So I'm reading through this document. I'm landing on to idea one here where it mentions that potential candidates for relocation are the Jackson, Jacksonville Jaguars and a couple other teams. So I'm curious, what's the average attendance at a Jacksonville Jaguars game? Knowing that information might be able to help my supporting argument, and it also might make it a little bit weaker. Either which way, I'm curious, and I could use Copilot Chat to figure out this information. So let's go ahead and put our prompt in here. What's the average attendance at a Jack Jacksonville Jaguars game? So I don't have that information directly in the doc. It's going to pull from the internet in the large language model to find that information. And you'll, you're going to see that Copilot actually calls that out right here in the chat. This response isn't based on the document, and then it provides the answer that it found online about the 2019 season, and on average, they have 63,085 attendees at a single game. This is great. I mean, this might have taken me a few minutes to research this online, uh, average the numbers together, cross-check my re resources. However, our virtual assistant 
provide this data in a near seconds and I can continue the conversation with some of the suggested prompts that's provided me after this. So, and it's using this based off the last couple interactions that we've had. What's the capacity? So not the attendance, but what's the capacity? Maybe what's the history of the Jacksonville Jaguars? That information might be able to help me in my own proposal here or in my ideation phase. So Copilot really is your personal assistant. You can do so much more. I'm really excited to understand how you're using this in your day to day. Feel free to email me or comment uh, in the section below. Thanks.